I don't know why the let me see. I don't know why this CPU North Bridge is. I'll just stick it on auto. Um, I usually have all these on auto. Uh, that way, because um, usually it uh, adjusts itself. Um, there's really no need for the. Uh, let's not put this on auto too. Actually, I put that on disable because that does affect the the uh, overclocking range here. Uh, VRM over temp over temperature protection enabled. Um, I got the CPU voltage frequency, which is a VRM frequency. Uh, I got it. At, they say up to 500 megahertz is safe. Uh, that's why I went with 520 because I like to push it a little bit. This here, the CPM PWM mode, uh, there's T-Probe and Extreme. Um, T-Probe actually uh, evens out the thermals over the um, over the, uh, the um, sorry, the VRM and uh, the Extreme or C probe uh, option adjusts the uh, levels out the current go going over the VRM. They say to use the, the T probe uh, if you have water cooling because it um, sometimes you get hot spots around the CPU. Anyway, um, my motherboard stays real low in temperature because I got that cool ass air flowing into the case. So I mean, it usually stays around 20, 23, 24. Uh, Celsius, so that's, I mean, it's really no big deal. Um, I'll, actually, I'll change it to uh, the the current balance over the VRMs, because I really don't have to worry about the thermals in my case, or the north bridge. Alright, so we're going to exit out of this. We're set at uh, 4.9 gigahertz front side buses, stock at 200, rams at 1866, and oh, um, let me uh, 4.9. We're probably gonna have to go a little bit higher than 1.475. So I'm gonna jump this up to 1.525. And up uh, uh, North Bridge, I'll just jump it up a little bit 1.425 here. Um, it might help with a little bit of stability. Uh, all right, so we'll exit out of here and we'll do some tests, see how she does. There you can see uh, the voltage on the CPU. So we set it at 1.525. So it's right around there. These uh, LEDs here, there's uh, that red one. This is the boot LEDs showing um, What's loading? Check it. The BIOS is checking. Over here, the red one here is the CPU voltage. Um, red for extreme. Uh, or the crazy is what they call it. Um, and uh, yellow or orange for moderate, and then green for uh, regular. So, all right, we're in the windows here. I pull up uh, this HW monitor and bring everything over here. You can't really see the letters on that because they're kind of small. Uh, so right now we're running at see we're at 4.9144 gigahertz, 4.92, so right around that range there. Um, like I said, I got the HT link and the 
the CPU Northbridge frequency on auto, which I, I believe is at 2200 MHz on both of them. Uh, so let me let me pull up Cinebench. We'll do a test on Cinebench. Temperature right now. I don't know if you can see it. It's at 29 degrees Celsius, 28, uh, 27. So it's dropping pretty quick. Like I said, the, um, the system that I have over here, the intake going into the radiator, actually drops the temperatures pretty good. So it's at 26 Celsius right now. Usually um, at idle it drops to probably around 16, 17 uh, degrees Celsius. Um, so just to give you an idea how well that intake works, even though it may look stupid. And uh, I actually had it set up better, so it wasn't as long, and it was actually cooler that way. But my room is not that big so I had to improvise alright so here 4.92 gigahertz 4.92 uh, and um, voltage 1.53 so I'll go ahead and start this and uh, you can watch the voltage, I don't know if it will jump up at all here my little bit Well, it looks like it's staying pretty, pretty even. Yeah. And I seen somebody else do this tested. They said 5.7 gigahertz, and they got a score of 6.54 or something like that. Um, I think he meant 4.7 gigahertz, but I mean at 4.6 gigahertz, I get a score of um, uh, like 7, 7.38 so I don't know what he was talking about I guess his motherboard sucks so at um, 4.92 gigahertz we get a score of 7.94 and that's the vo voltage at 1.53 I don't think it really moved here it shows um, on the uh, hardware monitor it shows that it's at 1.52 it didn't go any higher than 1.52 it did drop down to 1.51 it shows um, so just to give you an idea uh, now we'll run prime see if we can keep her stable Got all workers working. And I'll show you the temperature. The temperature, um, you know, temperatures get pretty hot on this bulldozer. And, uh, you know, it's getting up to these frequencies like 4, 9, 5, higher than 5 gigahertz. Temperatures really start to skyrocket, especially with up in the voltages. Because once you get, I know with, the, with my processor here, at least uh, once you get to five gigahertz, you gotta up that voltage pretty high. Um, here it's showing uh, right now uh, temperature 50, 50 degrees Celsius, um, 51. So, and I can show you the outside temperature real quick. Summerfield, North Carolina. You can see there, 37 degrees Fahrenheit.